Rum pum pum pum. Is that like Tchaikovsky or something? I feel like that's. Rum pum pum pum. Oh no, it's a Christmas carol. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Da, 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 are you ready for some Amber, Uni? Yes! I am so ready for Amber. Wait, but nothing changed. I think, yeah, I haven't done her hair yeah, yet. Yeah, she hasn't done her hair yet. So this is another girl group. They are called F of X, and they are made up of five members. They've been around for quite a while, and actually one of the girls is from L.A. Oh, hey, L.A. girl. I'm moving out there in two years. Is that and you she is also the person who did Shake That Brass. Hey, I need a roommate. What? Boy! At the exit. Chutsarani. Does it mean rapa pum pum? I don't think so. Do they even use that motive? With my we'll motive? find out. We'll see. Oh wait, you should do it. Does it matter? Yeah. Why? Ooh. 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 Hella a fly. So far, so good. I'm so into this. Well, that is an outfit. I'm like digging the chromaticism. I like this, like kind of snake charmery feel. I like this because it's edgy, you know. You're not it's totally sure where it's about going. like the harmonic content. Yeah. I like the ostinato background though. I'm a fan. I just can't get over the like high bass line. Ooh, those harmonies are so good. What a trippy song. Yeah, I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Like that drum part is cool. Mm -hmm. The melody is only just been singing like thirds and semi tones. Exactly. So it's just like I don't even know what uh -huh. the hell's. Oh wow. Whew. I see they're going for a Scottish vibe. I'm digging their harmonies. What happened? It's lit. Their voices just they're so good together. There's this like is like actual stuff. Like Phrygian but major. I'm digging how they have polyrhythmic harmonies how they'll be singing different lines at the same time to make harmonies. This definitely has like a very different different vibe to it. Mm -hmm. like, what? In what way? Like... I'm not a huge fan of the song, to be honest. Nothing's happening. Yeah, they use too much to the same... Uh, like, it's really good um, what they have, like the edgy kind of sound that they're going for. Yeah. Hey! Amber! Oh, yeah. Also, this girl's badass is fun. Ooh, triplet rapping, man. I never resist. Okay, her rap is sick. Her rap is really good. Ooh, okay, that's a little cool. I, I see. That's I dig that sound. I dig that sound. That's so really like, high. Do a bass on the minor third and then just go straight into major. Good job. Let's get that, that flat six up there. Uh, oh, I can't think of the that's reason that's 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 See like the audio engineers and the instrumentals in the background, like they're getting really creative with like the synth sounds and that's what I really appreciate about this. Like what a song. What a video. Video editing is really good. I feel like that was a slight play on the Christmas version. Like I think that was them playing on the fact that it's called Rum Pum 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 because that harmony was very Yeah. There is it is Phrygian, you're exactly right. It's Phrygian, but it's like But it's major. Majors. Yeah. Oh, they're doing the costume thing too. Not quite as well as Dreamcatcher, but I like it. It's just because like most of it sounds like more like minory. I don't know, like the random major tagging of like bum 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 is like. I mean, it adds contrast, but it's not very. Effective. I don't know if it works. It's a really good idea. That's like the most like <laughs> diatonic part of the entire song. And I love it. Well, that I was dope as shit. I love it, 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 I love it. I love it. Stop it. Mmm. I dig. I dig. Their harmonies that they do, like, with their voices are so cool. Like, they really, like, make good chords. They make good chords. I mean, they're not just, like, singing at their ends and, like, Oh, yeah, they're doing something like, with it. They, they, they might be up there for me. Ooh, honestly, nice. Honestly, not gonna lie. So I high key got like little drummer boy vibes <laughs> from that the whole time. I, think I like the rappy girl. She was cool. Her voice was Amber. Cool. 
She seemed a little... That was Amber? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's hey, Amber. She always oh. just seemed a little bit like... Uh, of that group, all of them were like kind of girly. She was like the least girly. I kind of dug that it was sort of like not super fat. If she were lipstick or butch, she would be butch. And it was cool. So you said it had more of an Eastern feel to it. And then there was this part where you guys were like, wait, what? Yeah. What happened there? Was it the bridge? Yeah, it was, I think it was pretty It was like a bridge. freaky like six bar bridge. It just uh, changed. It's just, just dramatically it's different. You're just like, it catches you a little off guard, which is cool. Because that's what this music's all about. It's like taking you one direction and just dropping you off on the other side. Eh. Yeah. I'm not gonna listen to that again, I'm sorry. Okay. But you started off liking it. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be super cool because I was like... Yeah, but then it was just the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Like, nothing happened, just got old. Like, they added more, like, instruments into it and that was cool, but, like, the main, like, bum, just, bum, yeah. bum, 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 The bass line kind of... Like, we got it. Like, I, under, like mm -hmm. I understand that's what you're playing. Like, I, I get it. The rap parts were okay. definitely highlights. Yeah, because they, they made they, a difference. Yeah, they made a difference. No, when they went uh, into the major for like a while, like towards the end, like at that bridge the part, that part. was cool. Yeah. When they added that tag, rum pum pum, at the end of their choruses, that was cool. I feel like it didn't go far enough in its vision. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, because that wouldn't be K pop if they went too far then. then yeah. Just be yeah, like. Yeah. Something completely. I feel like someone had a great idea and the producer was like, okay, but we, we have to, to like tone it down. To make and it I think that was a bad idea. I think they should have gone. Okay. Well, if they went too far, maybe they would lose all their fans. I'd be like, what are they doing? Yeah, but I feel like for the sake of art, you should try to go. Like musically, uh, I wish they had done more with it. Love it! When she likes it. Do you have anything? Well, Rum Pum Pum is. Phrygian weird ass. Like you kind of, you know, you listen to it for like 30 seconds and you know like the scope of like how, what the harmonic language is going to cover. Mm -hmm. Right, ready to move on to That's Red Light. Time. This is FX sure. Red Light and this came out I believe a year later. Is it going to Yes. Function, F of X. Go, 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 go. You can't go, it's a red light. Oh my god. This is very dark. Is this the Krusty Krab? Why is it on fire? Oh, I'm just done. Ooh, the cat with two eyes. How many cats you know got one eye? I meant to say two different colors. Ooh. They really that bass just changed my Their life. eyes are different. Makeup. This is cool. Okay. I feel like this they have great stuff. sounds. Yeah. Like, their sounds are super cool. Oh, that's the dirty synthesized bass line. I love that line. shit. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? That was so sick, but like, they just jumped from what they thought the tonic was. Oh my god! I like this. I just love that the bass goes from like a note, but then down to frequencies that you just cannot detect. This is like badass, female, like empowered, pop, like rap, hip hop, cool, good stuff. What? Okay. All right. That totally did not go where I expected. I know. I love it. All right, buddy, you really EDM like dubstep like. Oh, <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay. Just planning. That was really good. I love this. I love this so much. Uh, wow. The chorus. I like the verse more than the chorus. They uh, like uh, forget to be got up by half steps. Yeah, and it was like got crunchy as well. Yeah. Right? This, you know what I like about this? I literally can't compare it to anything. Like it's so unique. All the boy bands are little bitches compared to these girls. Absolutely. Ooh, this is a super super out vibe. I really dig it. That, I liked that harmony. It was almost mm -hmm. medieval. Oh, Maybe it's kind of a this, beach. This transition. This transition is, is, is my jam. It's so cool. It doesn't go at all where you want it. And they don't apologize for it. They just keep doing it. It just changes styles too jarringly for me. This just sounds so different. Yeah, there's some like really cool modal mixture stuff going on. Like there's some really like interesting major chords in that that are just like, hmm. I love that. 
those chords. This is just such a post-tonal aesthetic. It's just post-romanticism. Harmonic functions here. It just keeps building. Oh, fuck. Oh! Great bridge. Wait, I like this right now. It's like we're in a creepy tunnel. We're about to come out of like a secret water underground layer. Oh, the reverse explosion is fucking cool. Oh, no. I love that! Uh, oh. No. No. No? No. No. Everything but the chorus. Seriously? Yes. This is just like, this part is just a little too lit for me. Yeah. But like, I, lo I love the rest of it. I feel like it's very rare that we actually disagree. On this something. is like, oh. yeah, this is new. Oh. Yeah, Amber. You tell him, girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Tell yourself I'm the teeny tiny cat meow at the end. Yeah. Wait, that is such a classic cat meow. Like you hear it on every. That's like yeah. every. That is the classic cat meow. I had that as my ringtone. Can we have like a five minute like regroup session? Okay, I so say we that just, just end it there for the day because that, that was good. The EDM thing goes, mm -hmm. and then I have an expectation for the drop, but then it kind of just not only tonally, but also like the way it jumps, mm -hmm. like instrumentally, like how it doesn't really connect to the drop. Yeah. It's connect to the bridge. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like, I, I, yeah, not, not my cup of tea. I appreciate the experimentalism though, yeah. or like the, yeah, the out there ism. Yeah. I actually thought there was just enough connection for it to like, yeah. to like the bass and the, not the bass, um, the, uh, the beat was consistent pretty much throughout and like, like when they moved, it wasn't just like suddenly away, like it was pretty close. Like there were usually um, chromatic relationships between like the two areas. Like it wasn't too far off. It okay. seemed like they just moved um, like according to the half step or according mm -hmm. to the common tone. So cool. I actually thought it was really great. All right. Yeah, so overall point. thoughts is that you guys like the halftime part? Yeah. yeah. The, the part that was like, yeah, halftime, where the bass just went. Mm. I um, think so. I like the non-chorus part more mm -hmm. than the chorus. Mm. That's okay. Mm. Mm. So thoughts on that song? It was pretty, pretty. It can be signed up in three words. It was dang. I had to come with three words. I don't know. I just I kind of said before I thought, and then I kind of put myself in the place where I had to speak. It was pretty dope. I mean, like the initial beat was like, uh, it was like really dirty. Like oh, no. like I mean, just like but like a good kind of dirty. Yes, Jared, the good kind of dirty. like you're eating lasagna with your hands. Um, anyway. Then they got down to the EDM part, and I was like, all right, now you bring it a little bit back into the K-pop scene, where it's like, we're in a club for like people who may or may not know how to dance, but they just want to jump around and stuff, you know? And that's, that's, that was like great for that. But yeah, I mean, I thought it was really cool. Uh, and yeah, there was some little mixture in there. There was like, I don't know, some freaky major chords after like a lot of minor. I really like this. Like, I'm all about chromaticism. I think that's super dope. Um, I mean, you like your model, right? I like my Mahler. This is like overload, like really awesome though. I like this one. All right, so what do you oh, like about yeah. this song? Everything. Okay. I liked how it was like constant build up, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. and then it dropped, and then there was still like it was just like very high energy, and then it mm -hmm. even built up from there, and it was just like. Can I make a bold statement? Sure. Wait, so this is called FX. Yes. Black, pink. FX. Oh, got him. Called it. I just tweeted about them being your bias record. <laughs> I will say, it was really cool in the beginning how it was just rhythm section, like literally just drums. I would have liked them to bring that back. Yeah, it would have been like cool. To have, like to have like have a just drums to make yeah. it really like really I don't want to say quiet, but just really clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that when they built it back up, it was it could be more powerful. But that being said, what they did was fucking dope. So yeah. Right. So, vocals. Perfect for the for the song. Yeah, perfect. The chords were so tight and so I mean, huh. it's a heavily produced type of vocals, but it's, it's so done well. It's, done well. Well. it's like it's, it's so well. <laughs> it's so well. It's so well. 
<laughs> okay, which one do you like better, Rum Pum Pum or Rum See, Pum? I don't actually have a, I, they're equal. Okay. I like them both, I love them both. I liked, I actually like Rum Pum, Rum Pum Pum a little bit better. Like, I like this song. I like Rum Pum Pum a little bit better because it's a little bit more diverse of a song. They have a little more. Yeah, this, this a is a very, very hype song. Yeah, they had a few more themes going on mm -hmm. in Rum Pum Pum Pum, which I liked because it just kept things interesting, kept things going. Right. Not that this wasn't interesting. I just like the other one more. Rum Pum Pum or Red Light? Oh, this, this one, one. But purely because I like the other one less, not because I actually okay. like this so, one. So, which one do you like better? Yeah, I like this one. This one was pretty dope. It was really dope. I like all the lights, the camera, and the action. But specifically, songs. So song-wise, the beat was a lot. I like the beat a lot, like thicker okay. in this one. Like I was like just really deeply rooted into it. So both of you like this one better than Rum Pum Pum. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah, definitely sure. more. Uh, it was more interesting. There's more things happening. Yeah, definitely. Um, things there that was were like different a style. than you expected. Yeah, it was. You could better. you could tell that they were going for like more like grungy, yeah. and that was cool. So you like Red Light better? I do. I loved it. I think that was probably one of my favorite favorites. And Kevin? Definitely the other one. Okay, rum pum pum. Rum pum pum more. Okay, so which one do you like better? The second, second one. one. 